Morning year two and welcome to Thursday's English talk through video. So there's three sections again today. Um, if you want to, you can do section two today. It might be helpful to you. Um, but if you just want to go straight to section three, then that's fine as well. OK, so question section one, you're going to listen to Sam's duck once again. And you're going to answer the question, do you think Sam was lucky to get away with smuggling Francis back to his home? after rescuing it and why okay section two you're going to read the text about baby farm animals so we've got some pictures here in the picture above you can see a baby donkey a calf a young chicken a lamb a foal and a piglet which one would you choose to try to smuggle home you have to think about these problems though or you might get caught even baby farm animals are quite big and they move around a lot. How will you disguise or hide your animal? How will you keep them from moving about all the time? Maybe you could sing them a lullaby, feed them so they are full and happy, etc. Let's face it, barn, baby farm animals look adorable, but they do smell quite a bit. What will you do to cover up the icky odour while you are smuggling them? You'll need a very nice smell to block out their pong. Spray perfume have a bunch of flowers, use a room spray, etc. Baby farm animals also make plenty of noise. They neigh, moo, cluck, bleat, whinny, that's the noise that a horse makes, and oink all the time to get their mum's attention and let everyone know they are hungry. What excuses could you make for their noises? It could be it's coming from a toy, it's on my phone or my iPad, it's something far away. So, if you rescued a baby farm animal like Sam, which would it be? Which one would you choose and why? You don't need to write anything down for that, just think of it. Then part C, you're going to choose the baby farm animal you would like to rescue and using the Getting My Baby Farm Animal Home planning sheet, make notes about how you would disguise or hide it, cover up its smell, what you would say was making all the noise that it was making. OK, so that's your three sections. Then part three on the paper, using the plan you made, you're going to write a short story about how you smuggled your baby animal home. Don't forget full stops and capital letters, conjunctions, time phrases and adjectives. So you could start it. When I rescued a baby farm animal and then you can explain what happened. OK. I had to be really careful because it was making so much noise. I told when my dad asked me what was going on, I told him it was something coming from my iPad. He didn't believe me at first, but thank goodness I was able to show him by bringing up a video on YouTube. So things like that. OK. And that's all for today. Year two. I look forward to reading your writing.